Bob Maxwell with R.A. Maxwell & Associates and today we're going to talk about our non-continuous vacuum tumbler. The difference between a non-continuous vacuum tumbler and a continuous tumbler is with this tumbler you generally want to use this machine for larger whole muscle type product. Things like roasts, um, loins, uh, pork, uh, bone-in chicken, uh, bone-in turkey, things like that. Uh, on your continuous tumbler, you're going to want to use your sliced meats or possibly your boneless, skinless meats. But this machine is a lot less expensive than a continuous vacuum, so that's a, what a lot of people like to, to gravitate to. So the way that this particular machine works is, first, you're going to load your barrel by opening the door. We have a bracket. Here to keep the door off the floor. Then we're going to go ahead and load our product. If, for example, you want to load 60%, 70% of this barrel, then we have a jog button here. You just rotate the barrel up and continue to load the product. The great thing about a barrel tumbler versus a front load tumbler is on a barrel tumbler because you can do this motion, you're actually able to, to, um, to be able to fill about 70% of the barrel. Typically in marination, you can only fill about 50%. So now we've filled our, we filled our barrel of our product. I'm gonna bring it back down just a little to put our door back on. We'll bring our barrel back down again. Next thing we do, we have to hook up our hose. So, we have a sensor back here that makes contact with this hose. If this hose is not connected, this barrel will not turn. The reason that we did that was so many people were starting up these machines and forgetting to remove the hose. And as the barrel started to tumble, they ripped the hose out of the machine. So this is a great safety feature that we've added to that. Now, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna open our valve, and then we're gonna come over and we're gonna turn our vacuum pump on. So you can watch our gauge. The more full your barrel is, the faster you're gonna be able to pull a vacuum. Right now we have, this is a 500 pound tumbler, and so uh, we have all air. So it's gonna take a little while to start our vacuum. So let's say that we've maximized our vacuum. We're gonna shut off the pump. We're gonna come over here. We're gonna shut off our valve. Remove our hose. And now we're able to start tumbling the machine. We have a barrel speed. So depending on how fragile the product is, if for example the product is the whole muscle, something that's very dense, you might want to tumble it a little bit faster. If you're using something that's gentle, um, again boneless, skinless products, things like that, then you might want to slow your barrel temperature, your barrel speed down. Okay, we have our timer set. We have our timer set for a minute. So the barrel will stop tumbling in one minute. So now we're done tumbling. So now we're going to go ahead and, and move our door back up to the top so that our product doesn't fall out when we open our door. So the first thing we're going to come over here is jog up. Now we're able to safely open up our door. First thing we've got to do is let the air back in our tank. So we're going to open up our valve. Once the air has been evacuated from the tank, we can come over 
open up our door. So we're gonna roll our, our stainless steel buggy underneath. We're gonna come over here, jog down, empty your product into the stainless steel buggy, jog back up again, pull our buggy out. Now we're ready to start loading our next batch. A couple of the safety features on our non-continuous tumbler is we have a, an infrared eye with a mirror. So if the operator were to get too close, say with a frock, that might get caught, the machine will not start. So the operator has to be away from this electric eye. The other safety feature that we have is our emergency stop button. So if at any time you need to stop this machine, you just hit the button and the machine stops. Start the machine back up, you just gotta rotate then the machine will go ahead and start programming again. Now we're going to show you the insides of our non-continuous marinating vacuum tumbler. So we have a key here to open our doors. We have our electrical control panel. So you can see how clean it is inside, how clean the wiring is inside. We also have a flared edge around this door so that if any chance water might get into this, it will not go into your control box. Here we have your motor and your drive with your chain and sprocket. And down at the bottom we have your uh, vacuum pump. Most important is the water trap. So we have a wrench here that can take that off every night. Every night, when you're done marinating, you need to remove that trap, take it over, clean it out, put a little bit of mineral oil on the gasket, and then reseal it before you operate the next day. That water trap is in case any marinade gets picked up during the vacuum cycle. Um, we don't want that to go into your pump. So we have a water trap there. Thank you very much. Have a great day.